So in this problem, we need to show that which of the following equation is true, such that the point, which is given as x, y, is equidistant from two other points. One has the coordinate 2, 1, and the other has the coordinate 1, negative 2. So in order to understand this problem, let us imagine that this is the point A with coordinate x, y. And then we have another point B with coordinate 2, positive 1, and the other with coordinate 1, negative 2. So it's given here that if we join point A and point B, and we join point A and point, or this is point C, then AB is going to be equals to AC, because the point A is equidistant from both A, B, and C. So this is given to us. Now using this information, we need to find out which of the following equation holds true. Now to solve this problem, what we'll have to do is find out the distance AB as well as the distance AC. And then we'll equate them to each other. For this, we'll have to use the distance formula. So let's specify the distance formula. So let's say we have two points, point A and point B. The coordinates of both the two points are provided to us. If we join the two points by using a straight line, this is also going to give us the distance between the two points. And that's simply take the square root underneath the square root. First, we'll have to take the square of the difference of the x coordinate and then add it to square of the difference of the y coordinate. Okay, fine. So since we're going to start with AB first, okay, so if we apply the distance formula, then we are going to get, we have square root of, now, let us suppose that B corresponds to x1, y1 and A corresponds to x2, y2. This is for our own understanding. Now, this is going to help us easily find out the value of the distance AB. So since we need x2 minus x1, so we have x minus 2. So we will have x minus 2. This is going to be the difference of the x coordinate. We're going to square it and then add it to the difference of the y coordinate. So that's going to be y minus y1, uh, y2 minus y1. So that's simply y minus 1. Now we have y minus 1 whole squared. This will be equals to, similarly, we can apply the distance formula to AC. Now, in this case, we're going to consider this time x1 to be 1 and y1 to be negative 2, such that we have x minus 1 whole squared added to y minus or minus 2. That makes it positive, so we have y plus 2 whole squared. Let's get rid of the square root by squaring both sides. So, we have x uh, minus 2 whole squared. So, well, let's expand it. So, we get x squared minus 4x plus 4. Then y minus 1 whole squared will be y squared minus 2y plus 1. This will be equals to x minus 1 whole squared. So that's x squared minus 2x plus 1. And then y plus 2 whole squared will be y squared plus 4y plus 4. Now we can uh, cancel x squared from both sides. We can also cancel y squared from both sides. We can also cancel out positive 4 from both sides as well as positive 1 from both sides. Now let's uh, write down whatever we are left with. So we have negative 4x minus 2y on the left hand side and on the right hand side we have negative 2x and positive 4y. So we now have negative 4x minus 2y. We're going to transpose each terms from the left hand, uh, right hand side to the left hand side to get positive 2x and negative 4y equals to 0. So when we rearrange the terms, we get x plus 3y equals to 0. And that means option A is going to be the correct answer.